Right, so here we go. This far from the slums. No looking back now. Time to leave the joke behind me. As he wishes to destroy us and steal a terror's legacy. The items that you start with, they have no portion potential. Can't really like slap flat damage on it and call it a day. <laughs> Need to find something on the floor. How about a bow? I think bow is probably not that great because like it's not going to be airing, right? That was, close. that was indeed very close. Shurikens. We could potentially put some sort of like a movement speed on this, right? Yeah, yeah, you can, definitely. Very nice. <laughs> I was wondering where I'm going to be using my hopes. 900 glyph. Of hopes. Well, this character is going to be swimming in them. I like quite like killing quite two of everything. Honestly, getting the early levels like I don't mind this at all. I know it's it's kind of costing me a little bit of time here and there, but like it doesn't matter so much. I enjoy staying ahead on the levels instead of like falling behind. And we are going to be mostly using stuff that I'm going to find and just craft on them myself. Instead of grabbing like a legendary for my stash, so... It's better to get a few kills here and there for sure. What can I do? Attack speed, damage, 8%. Sure. Ah, oh, we have a flask available as well. So, on this Falconer of mine, I'm actually going to be changing my faction, especially if I can select the Merchant's Guild right now uh, from here. I will do it. 
I want to see like how it's going to be. How it's going to be feeling. You can now sell all items. You can buy normal magic and rare items in the bazaar or directly from other players. You can buy set items in the bazaar directly. Mm. Let's check for movement speed real quick, right over here. We have a pretty good one ring, another ring right over there. Very good. And boots, no boots. But like two movement speed rings, why not? Helps big time. You can check basically like boots, they're extremely cheap. Like if you've collected a bunch of items, you could sell them. Obviously, you don't really make much of gold. But uh, it might be just barely enough to like buy rings and boots if it's available to you when you reach the town for the first time. For sure. So, you know, even though throughout the entire game it's not worth like selling any items to the NPCs. Almost at all. Unfortunately. I, especially after yesterday's nerf when it comes to like arena keys. Um... It, it might be an idea to do at the very start, like at the very, very start of the game, so that like you have the gold to purchase the uh, keys and, and boots, if there is one, yeah. Let's grab the spear from this one-shot chest on the right side. Throughout the campaign, one-shot chests, they're heavily scripted, and the yellow items inside them, it will always be the same. So this bloom tender's short spear is always the exact same spear that's dropping from you. Yeah. And it's not too bad. Gives you time little bit more movement speed. It's definitely not like the best item. Maybe it has some forg forging potential? No. <laughs> they thought about that. There's no forging potential. Gonna fancy some... Physical damage. Oh, Puncture is here. We're actually going to be respecking into Puncture. Right click right there. Pu no! God damn it. Alright, Bleed Puncture. So guys, when it comes to like ailments... Uh, ailments are crazy strong, due, like, at the start of the game, okay? Because, like, they, they tend to deal this, like, default damage per ailment. So if you just increase your attack speed a little bit or your chance to put an ailment on the target and stack, like, two, three of them, at the start, they kind of, like, overpower the targets. It's pretty cool. That's an interesting chest piece, by the way. Might be able to put some more dexterity on it. And call it a day. Let me see. Oh, never mind. Okay, I read it wrong. Oh well. Thought it was punch or something. Four bleeding stacks on him. That is a rogue relic that tells you chance to poison and physical resistance. It's actually not too bad. Definitely not.
interestingly enough, like, I have a very hard time leveling at the start of the game, just, like, complete fresh in Last Epoch. It's very interesting to me. Like, it's it's pretty deadly, you know, these, like, Osprex warriors throughout the entire game, even even in the late game. Like, you really hate fighting these uh, Osprex mages, these flying uh, birds, basically. Alright, that's a cast speed necklace that we don't really need, but... So fighting those right off the bat like this is like pretty annoying. I wish the game actually like recognized and remembered um, that we kind of like want to, you know, not be included in the public chat like ever. So every single time you read Og, I think it just puts you into public chat again. If you disable the chat, I think it remembers that, though. The ivory dice is like crits. Gonna continue with the poison. It's not terrible. We can take the smoke bomb. One second. Ooh, the screen shakes. Oh, we got lucky here because movement speed and attack speed is going to make things much easier, actually. We are directly scaling very good from attack speed right now, simply because of, like, the, uh... Sure. Yeah, ailment chance. This way. You're here to have a death the drink. Good carefully. We have no fire resistance, but <laughs> should be okay, hopefully. Ouch. Note here, it isn't safe. We'll reconvene outside. Let's sort of let's oh, be... Well tell you what. Let's get out of here first and then I'll explain more. But these beast dogs are hardly worth it if you don't know why a ride is up. <laughs>
Give you another cheeky movement speed shrine right over here. Any enjoyers? Yes. That's actually crazy lucky, by the way. The dream. I think I'm gonna click uh, Frenzy. So we can just go ham on a single target like this. Frenzy really helps big time. Consecutive uh, bleed stacking. It's another attack. No, sorry, cast speed. Necklace. I need an attack speed version. You're done without the arena keys. <laughs> MG. <laughs> I just want to see how MG feels. I think it's a good good idea to, to to like at least play one of my characters in MG and see. And this is going to be it. <laughs> if you be, would be interested. There's actually a chest on the left side over here, if you walk to the left. I'm sure you will get like a couple of um, useful, maybe shards, crafting shards? Possibly. 18 crafting potential on the helm, by the way. Entering the Keeper's Camp. Don't go anywhere. I like to do that quest. It's just literally on the way. I don't really mind it. Normally, after um, making a little bit of gold, you kind of want to like buy some rune of shatterings from NPCs when you can, so that like you can shatter some valuable um, affixes on some items. Obviously, it helps big time to like have a good loot filter for that, so you can rec recognize. Um, Good affixes on the floor and just shatter them. During the leveling, like movement speed and elemental resistances are extremely good to shatter if not use. Rich. That's a massive job for me, by the way. It is um, Vitality, Armor, Dodge Racing. That's Shurikens, which is kind of whatever, but... I say they killed each other maybe i'm not really sure or maybe it's just like my bleeds i don't think these are enemies ah oh, we can now have shift um right over here as well and we're gonna go cooldown reduction on it it's pretty big for chalice See, I like this one a little bit more. 
double mana. Maybe we can chaos one of them. Increase with detonates. I thought they have fixed this um, tooltip problem. Actually, it's like uh, staying on your screen. I really dislike my AoE right now. I'll try to like fix it somehow. When they stack up, it is fine, right? There's another one shot just south. I'm going to be skipping it. If I can end up finding a decentish bow, I'm gonna attempt bows also one time. I'm wondering like how it feels to play with a bow or uh, with a puncture. It might be decent. Because I do have like a okay screwdriver in my bags as well, so. Should definitely give it a shot. Try this, just pure bleeds even more. Decoy. Decoy is actually not useless against bosses, right? I think I'm slotting it. My vote resistance is 12%. <laughs> That's pretty low. Fifteen percent chance to dodge. Dodge it. Seven stacks of bleed. Yeah, single single target isn't too bad. Do we have any um, any bow? There's actually a short bow here with a file as well. Okay, I'll keep mine. A small uh, crafting session right here, guys. Mana regeneration, 
you can't do more than this. There's two um, elemental resistance real quick. Alright, that's very good. Over here, as you know, chance to bleed and chance to poison, right? Those are the kings. And over here, you want uh, physical damage. Bow physical damage is pretty insane as well, but I think I'm going to go for the percentage just for now. Normally, it's it's just better to go the other one around, but... Alright, that's going to be a big bow for me for now. What can we have here? Some void res. We are the bleed master now, I'm telling you. We have insane chance to bleed. I like T2 bleed on my quiver, T2 bleed on my uh, bow. And then we're running the bleed puncture. Not happening. It's Hera's blessing. Hmm. Eight for some movement speed. There's no forging potential. By the way, there's something that you could uh, consider if you have any friends or like if you could, you know, join to a streamer's uh, chat and ask them to do it. Which might be annoying for some people, obviously. But I could do it every now and then. I don't mind. Um, so I would suggest you to like get the, the get the keeper's waypoint first before doing this. But in fact, if you can get a waypoint to end of time as early as level one or three, four, whatever, actually, you don't necessarily need to do a quest to get your mastering. When you get to in this game, when you get to end of time, you're capable of uh, selecting your mastery immediately. So a level one is capable of becoming a falconer, and you might think to myself, uh, think to yourself, well, what is the point? Because like you don't have any points to put into falconer, you need to spend twenty points in rogue first. Well, the point is, there's a passive that you take. You you gain your bird, and it just starts one shotting everything around you. And then I think there's some sort of like a damage increase also, a passive for becoming uh, a falconer. Every single, in fact, mastery out there has a passive. Uh, bonus next to them as well. Yeah, that's an insane boots. Very nice. A little bit lucky with the drops there. Right now, my loot filter is very selective. It's um, only showing us things. Well, it used to show everything, but now that like we're ahead of level eight, it is hiding almost everything except items that has three useful stats. So like one resistance, one dexterity or vitality, and then one health for instance that would show but you know if it has only two useful stuff it's hiding it so seeing an item is going to be always uh, surprising right now Shifting grants me movement speed now. So we need to kind of shift on cooldown. Keep on running. Yeah, 
Guys, I guess, like, we failed rolling, um... Shrines in this map. Like, they, I haven't seen a single shrine in this map. This map with shrines is so much easier to run through. Yeah, they, they could be one over there as well. It's kind of sad, actually. You're gonna see me do literally every single quest in the game up until a certain point. That's usually how I level. Um, just when I get rid of like idols and passives. Before going, you know, deeper than I need to, let's say. I'm taking dot chance and glancing right now. Maybe I should be taking that actually next. Didn't really consider it. There's 17 um, forging potential on these boots. The second that, like, we jump into the town, I'm gonna try and, like, put movement speed on them. It's a bit more. Every percentage, I suppose, matters. The decoy costs so much mana, by the way. It's crazy. 12 stacks of bleed right there. Thir I've seen 13. Maybe it attacks my decoy a little bit. Very nice. Okay, so those are pretty bad idols. Let's grab like a little bit better idols. Aria and damage, cadence of death, every third attack, I think. Let's grab like elemental, uh, resistance, uh, singular ones, if I have any. Stun avoidance. All right, it's what it is. And then one of the big ones. Oh, it is also elemental resistance, isn't it? Yeah, or it's usually elemental resistance. Well, how about some void resistance here? With like some vitality, perhaps. Two vitality. Alright, two vitality and 16 void resistance. Pretty good. Onwards. Just cadence that I've taken is like every third attack, I think, with the uh, puncture is going to be hitting it a little bit harder and a wider um, projectile, I think. And I must say that like it's a little bit more uh, comfortable to play with, with a bow, I think, compared to how I was playing with a spear over there. So, yeah, you should consider that too. 
I guess that's kind of nice because like we will continue both throughout the entire game, I suppose, for the rest of the game. Just from the get-go, you become bow. Mask of life. Why well, him on a health and fizz res instead of void? Sure. My void resistance is 32%, which is definitely enough for chapter 1. 100%. I cannot wait to get my bird. It is not that far away now. Let's see what this is. I wonder if it would be possible to just hit them all at once. No, the move away! That was so close. I'll say this is a fast kill, right, Chan? I hope this is not a bug, by the way. <laughs> I don't know what's going on over there, but it's showing as if like I need to click something. I think it was one of the NPCs that I talked to to like spawn these bosses, but. I think we're good. Ah, Ballista is here. Not gonna try it. We, we could put it instead of like the flask for now. Entering town. Okay, let's try like this instead. It seems like at the end of this run, like, my loading screens in total are going to be about, like, 10 minutes. Not even kidding, because this, this alone was, like, a minute, right? That's pretty sad, actually. Uh, Leech and Elemental Resistances. Like, those Elemental Resistances are pretty decent, I think. Especially since, like, my gloves... It is null. I'll try it. Okay, I forgot about something, something right? Let's see. 
Intelligence. Hmm. It doesn't let me mo roll more. How about some dexterity on my ring? What else can you put? This is actually ultra lucky at this point. Some minion damage, perhaps. Or like physical damage? Fizz damage will work both ways. So I should probably go fizz damage here. It's still, somehow... I'll go dex over that, though. And health. No, maybe the mental resistance, in fact. Right. It's still... That one still has... Crafting potential somehow. It's damage while moving, I guess, right? And even more movement speed. This has been a pretty good run so far. I need to find a belt, by the way. Have you seen my belt? <laughs> It is the starting belt still. Uh, those are another type of boots. How about some belts game? So I'm going to be disabling my loot filter every now and then to see if we can find some belts on the floor. Because any, any type of belt is better than mine right now. Because mine doesn't have any forging potential on it. So we can put some like resistances on them. Or some health maybe. Would be nice. There it is. One ballista and one decoy. A second ballista. <laughs> I don't know if it's dealing any damage or not. I'm not really sure. Ah, I was asking for a belt, wasn't I? What is that? Ask and you shall receive. Intelligence, minion damage. It actually works, by the way. The minion damage, that is. Soon. When, when we have the pet. And it has some, like, fire resistance. Movement speed shines. Damn. This has to be a record when it comes to how many movement speed shrines I have found up until this moment. Magma maggot. What happened to the NPCs? good loads unfortunately extra stacks more bleeding sense per stack 
or attack speed into rapid strikes. This is the moment that I have no idea what I'm doing. We could do um We could do one point off this. Well, to be fair, soon we have our Falcon, so maybe it's not gonna matter too much. This Weaver's Ring, if I am not mistaken, it comes with like elemental resistance, doesn't it? Might be pretty decent for me. It's like a ward item. But you know, for for a short duration it might be decent. It's only 5% <laughs> mental resistance is implicit. Oh, that one failed. I would have liked to have like a timer on my screen to see my timer so far. It usually takes, I don't know, I, I don't even remember actually how long it takes me to get here usually, maybe like an hour? It's like I kill a lot and I uh, itemize quite a bit as well. Eighteen points spent. We're gonna put one point into agility when I level up. When I manage to level up. But now we have a falcon. Move it, it's a bit. I'm going to be going into skills of falconry at level 20, but we should probably put it into our bars. 100% already. But like, I'm continuing with the um, puncture for now. Maybe it's a mistake, I'm not really sure, but yeah. Oh, hello.
to walk you through so far what we have gotten from our passives. I have less damage taken while moving. I have increased dexterity, a little bit of increased health. And I have chance to glance, basically. Glancing hits chance. It's all the way up to like 15% or something. It's not terrible. We can do the invulnerability shift, just in case, so that like I can get out of dodge. Um, if I make a mistake. Which map is this? I'm just north. Umbral Blades. Has been quite testing the keeper gloves. I'm gonna continue with like just crafting craftables. I should still find myself a belt, by the way. In my opinion. <laughs> like this set belt is not really the greatest. It's intelligence and fire resistance is complete overkill. Fire resistance as well. Really not necessary. How about let's not die while waiting for a cool, like, uh, loading screen? Entering cultist camp and I'm fighting like 20 people. Does anybody know how many people are playing Last Epoch right now? Guys. Because my loading screens are about like a minute right now. It's really not good. 140k. Hundred and forty K. Okay. <laughs> Not happening. 
not happening. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Every four seconds, your first direct uses increased attack speed. Um, or you can increase the uh, bleed even further than this. Sure. A little bit of planning would have definitely given me a little bit more speed in the leveling here. Actually considering like what I should be putting in there. So we'll go into Falconer here. And... Uh, we could probably increase the crit rate of my pets. That's a decent first. Not happening. happening just how fun this is the upgrades it kind of broke my um forging potential in the body Sure, void horns. Four of them. I think this is just an experience quest, though. But we might still end up doing it because I'm gonna go grab the waypoints for the college quest later on. I'm level 18. Two more levels, then we can start putting points into falconry. The falcon strikes. That's going to be pretty big, though. And this doesn't really mean much. Alright, sure. I'm gonna go, like, I, I'm gonna end up, like, killing that guy later on, I think. Because, like, this is really awkward. I've never seen this pathing. Path like, why is he all the way to the top left? We'll kill him when I come for the college. We only need 5 points into this to be able to give some crit rating to my pet. Which is extremely big, like base crit chance is very big, so it's kind of like a must to have in my opinion.
Hmm? I think it's usually a good like idea to look at your gear and try to like understand what is the easiest thing to like replace. And in my case, it's hundred percent the necklace. It's literally giving me nothing right now, guys. An attack speed necklace would have gone a very long way, uh, and I'm sure like I didn't find it simply because my loot fitter is hiding everything. It's um, I should have definitely paid more attention to that. I'll try to disable my filter uh, when we get like some loot explosions to see if we can grab a necklace from the floor. Yes. So I don't really want like a cast speed necklace base right now like this. <laughs> it's quite uh, unfortunate. Eighty-five percent. That is not terrible. 4% movement speed, fire and health. Alright, I'll pass. Ouch! Guess I'm not supposed to be slammed by those things, not yet at least. Ah, this place's level is 20. I am 19. Almost 20. So we are ma actually managing to like keep up. With the zones. I'll put one more point into the bleed chance, I guess. This is Falcon Ray. That said, though, I have no idea how to spec it. I'm going to need to see it one more time. Explosive trap? I've never tried it, actually. With the falconry, we could look into going for um, the kill threshold. It might be it might be pretty big. Because getting rid of like the bosses with 16% life remaining, um, that's probably going to be helping me out big time while leveling like this. Especially if I'm like low-end side when it comes to DPS, yeah. So, Falcon gaining damage according to my damage, I suppose. And we will go for the highest damage to Falcon damage too. So, I'm going to put one point there, one point there, two points here. And then I'm just going to like go towards the 
bird of prey, basically. It's not the worst thought. Definitely not. Um, the Falcon should be much more stronger now, already. Because it is sharing some of my stats, thanks to the uh, passives that I've taken. So as you can see, it's going to be just shredding when I use the Falcon Strikes. <laughs> ignore. Imagine coming all the way here to just ignore. What are we doing? I need to go into the portal in this place. Guys, I did have some, like, loading issues, but, like, notice how the loading is always about, like, the uh, safe haven or, like, a quest hub, you know what I mean? Where, like, you're, you're capable of, like, seeing other players as well. Like, the rest of the loadings are, like, completely fine for the most part right now. That's also why they like kept on calling it matchmaking, because like I think it's it's trying to like basically find a server for you to join with like other people when you're hubbing. Little bit of a dragon fight. Oops. We are going to be going for this node now, which is giving me a chance to gain haste with my attacks or my Falcon's attacks. And at the same time, it is giving increased melee attack speed to my Falcon. Um, that is a very unique stat, by the way. Increased melee attack speed to the Falcon. I couldn't figure out if there's like any other way to gain this in this game. For the Falcon, especially. Um, let me know if you guys, like, find something else for that. Because I don't think just, like, generic attack speed, melee attack speed, even though, like, the Falcon Strikes has, like, a melee tag on it, it, I don't think it works for it. Like, pet attack speed, kind of.
Still forgetting about the necklace. <laughs> you know what? Maybe we should check an NPC to like buy it. Might actually be so much easier than finding one at this point. <laughs> Glad I was not in range for that. There are two chests to the right if you'd like to pick them up. Right over there. It's a good place for like a fresh account for sure. Chests are always nice for like um, the fixes and yeah, fix shots. They are not crazy for item finder. things are going to follow me. Let's try this, maybe. An extra stack of Bleeding Fury. Another helm with decoy and necrotic res. Not really. The Temple of Eternal. Or at least it used to be. I doubt anything valuable is left. Should probably check the shine. Easy. Too easy. How come she never says that like at the end? My character never said that before, I think. I don't know. Maybe I'm completely like spaced out. This guy's a scammer guy, he's he he never drops loot for some reason. Just a gatekeeper. We're now going to be immune while uh, shifting. Puts a point into Falcon Strikes, it just goes into this like massive cooldown slog. Level 24. How are we doing here? Okay, we're gonna put a bunch of points here now. Some finally some health coming my way, so it's gonna make me tanky. In this game, health is extremely valuable, guys. 
health, armor, and resistances, they're sort of like about the same value throughout, especially like early, early, early phase, yeah. Where in other ARPGs it might be like, you know, just fix your resistances and you're out of here kind of thing, yeah. Good effective HP system in my opinion, very good balance there. Alright, I think we can do some trick of like TPing back here. Hopefully the loading screen isn't terrible. was pretty good density i'm interested in that bow that dropped because like we're still using level one bow so might be able to do something better than this the thing is um soonish we're not going to be caring about bleed anymore hopefully <laughs> it might not be too soon but yeah at some point It's a little bit easier to itemize when that happens. See the code do work. Copper ring. Some codes with shift. I'm out of here. Tactician is going to be like the next thing that we will focus on. Shift and health. Sure. Some necrotic resistance, perhaps. Zero potential remaining. But comparison, I think it should still be better. So 18 damage, 2% crit strike chance, damage over time, and minion melee. The minion melee being the biggest one over there. Let's put some bleed on this guy. Uh, minus 10 so far, unfortunately. Minus 7 more. Damage over time is good, but minion melee needs to, like, yeah, level up them for sure. I'll put a level damage over time too. Void resistance, chance to bleed. Both damage is extremely good as well over there. Can we really have more? I am dropping this on the floor. That is really pissing me off. <laughs> Wow, this guy just doesn't give up, does he? Still has 17 potential. Movement speed. I'm gonna chaos this guy. Well, when I can, I suppose. Level 27 is required now. Uh, perhaps a little bit more dexterity on each side. Would be pretty cool. 
No potential remaining. All right, bunch of upgrades here, though. That was definitely decent. Weapon, codes, and bunch of FX upgrades as well, so... Should be a little bit easier to go. Starting from here, you do need a little bit of necrotic resistance, guys. Uh, I still don't have any idle slots. So up until this point, I would say like fire resistance and void resistance are like just the two things that you need. The rest could actually be like completely zero. And I would say like fire and void, you need like 30%. Um, yeah. To go through up until this point, um, comfortably, let's say. Yes. Stay hmm. safe. I see. Ah, oh, let's see if this guy is actually setting a necklace for me. <laughs> Elemental damage, cast speed, minion health. All right. It is what it is, you know. It is what it is. We'll get him next time. Shift right click to buy. <laughs> you need to write it a little bit bigger in my opinion. Somehow. The interesting thing is like I, I thought I read something like that in one of the patch notes, uh where it was saying like it, it doesn't really like you know the font doesn't go out of hand anymore, but like maybe this wasn't what that patch notes was talking about. Clearly. Permitting here. I think the uh, bird like ones are capable of maybe like resurrecting the zombies or something. I'm not too sure. So it felt like the zombies were coming back to life all the time. Uh, this place is level 23 and I'm 25, so we're not only managing to keep up, but also like ahead. So, which also means I'm killing way too many. We have 16% kill threshold now. Line them up. I actually really like kill threshold mechanics in RPGs, but that being said, like I, I have no idea what's like the highest kill threshold in this game. Like in Path of Exile, for instance, you could take two twenty percent call from uh, Slayer, yeah. Oh, what, what is it here? Let's kill this guy. Maybe he drops my necklace. Why not? Big copium. Oh, I should have saved that. Now my threshold is not there anymore. Okay. Unfortunate. Oh, the studying time is here. We could go back.
I'll try something else. Bleed chance, more bleed chance per click. Sure. This is like dodge rating. Shadow created after you shift. Healing amount. Let's try to get some healing. That's not terrible, actually. Actually. All right, couple more points over here. And then we could grab a big one. Oh, I could actually, like, reduce the, um, cooldown of my shit shift a tiny bit more than this. Maybe it's worth. <laughs> you know, I've never, um, paid attention to when you're actually unlocking... More idle slots. Like, this was all the way at the beginning, right? And we are still sitting on, like, the same idle slots right now. It's a great college. Better armor, implicit is better, cooldown reduction, vitality and health. Pretty tanky, and you could slap movement speed on top of this. I think we do this. Sure. Zero potential, but it's very decent item, so why not? My resistances are still very easily playable. I have 500 HP. Not really sure, like, if that is okay. <laughs> uh, in Grimdown, you know, I always had this rule of, like, you know, multiplying my uh, level by 10, and, like, that was sort of okay, kind of. Hundred, I think. In this one, no clue. Ah, it does feel like I'm pretty, pretty squishy right now, so I'll try and gain a little bit more HP than this. 200 back to the outcast camp perhaps in the outcast camp i'll also find myself a necklace ten times level <laughs> yeah i think it was 100 i i said 10 for some reason there's no necklace here again 40 armor minus minus time a little bit better that's fine so, this is going to end up giving me some more idle slots, I think. And you could maybe go wrong with health and elemental resistance. So, we are going to be gra grabbing uh, some 5% HP and tiny bit of, like, elemental res. Yeah, something like this, I think, is very decent. Hopefully, I can fit that in. You can gamble in the end of time, this is true. This is true. I'll just continue leveling. It's fine. I just need to, like, press X after opening chests and stuff. It's just that, like, I'm very much not used to it. Apparently, this is not even giving me idle sauce, by the way. Interesting. I thought this was the first one. My bad. It was a passive point.
Wait, so... One more points in them? Plated belts, lightning damage. Too bad. I have 15 unspent points. You did it on purpose, didn't you? Tell us the truth. It has to be. <laughs> These skulls are so annoying, by the way. This guy is ultra buffed. But he's ultra dead. Both. Alright, so this point right over here was giving me some dodge and health. It's pretty good. And I have got some nets. I really like this ability. So we're probably going to be actually putting nets right over here. And we'll start spamming nets. But the thing is... It is not so much fun to play with net when it has this like backflip ability uh, inbuilt to it. So I'm going to need to be level 35 to be able to remove that. That's going to take a while. That's like eight levels far away from me. Uh, in other words, we don't really need the net right now. I could just keep going. Ivory dies. Hmm. When your falcon kills an enemy, it restores health for you. Added crit chance to my falcon. Let's do that and then like restore also half afterwards. So my next click is going to be probably restoration. Do we have any forcing potential on my weapon? We do. Hmm. Wonder what would be the best thing to put there. I am finding myself with more monsters than my Falcon Sweep can I can kill, so maybe I should look into grabbing the extension also. There's like an extension in the Falcon Sweep or Falcon Strikes that you can get like extra hits for getting kills out of them. It's um, like one extra every, every 10% or something, I'm not sure. I'll check it out. Might be pretty cool though, because like I'm having a hard time clearing the screen sometimes. Even if the cooldown is ready. Oh, big boy clicks. Maybe Corrupted Lake is the one that's giving you idle slots.
Did I end up like completing my quests everywhere? I think I have. We're doing a clean run so far. Very clean. I'm going to be keeping my cooldown ready here for this guy. Isn't he somewhere around here right now? Alright, never mind, I'm using it. Didn't really hit as much as I thought I would. <laughs> Uh-oh. What am I- What about my decoy, though? How come you're not sacking my decoy? Double- idle slots and I'm sitting on 40 lightning 46 cold right now uh what is this quest about council chambers that's exactly what I'm talking about I did not turn in my council chambers quest that was that's been waiting there for some time now maybe that's gonna give me some idle sockets even more This guy not ready. All right, two extra sockets. Um, let's do void. Two fourteen, one fourteen. All right, two fourteen it is. One unspent points. I should have definitely made um, a little bit more planning for the puncture and its, you know, points, 100%. Because, like, my sort of, you know, bread and butter dive bomb is coming pretty late. So, puncture is going to stay for quite some time it seems like it would have definitely cut me off some time here for sure instead of like thinking about where I could spend my points or maybe even like have a better result This guy had some issues, let me tell you. Lagan is dead. Congrats to you. Oh my Lagan is... Some say my Lagan is still laughing. 
You know, you know, he actually like continues uh, emoting and animating, etc. Like after your death, and like laying down on the floor, he like continues speaking to you. And there's that like ha 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 continuing. Like I, I had to like basically put through that while looking at my death screen this morning. Well, I will take my revenge. A week ago, I was saying something like, I'm comfortable with like on now, you know? <laughs> I'm not scared of it. I just... Today I have taken both Lagon Beam and Jewelry Explosion. Pretty epic plays, I must say. He's hundred percent is laughing at you, yes. <laughs> We are kidding this guy. Surely. I'm like <laughs> Play Please with sixteen percent threshold. And the Falcon hits up until 17% uh, remaining. Belt of Evasion, uh, Quiver, Crit Strike, Bow Physical, Bow Stance, Bow Damage, Poison on Hits. Um, it's a Relic with Intelligence, Chris Oak Scepter. Unless I'm blind, there's no necklace in there. There's more greaves. Copper amulets. Thank you. That is increased physical damage too. I'll take it. All over that. I'm gonna make my falcon heal me a little bit, guys. So we can some we can have some more sustain. That was cast on my um, decoy.
Wait, it's not there. Seeing 1k hits now from the Falcon when I Falcon strikes. She's getting stronger. We're seeing Boots pretty often because Boots is a little bit easier to roll according to my loot filter simply because it has one extra stat in, in it that it can show for. So as I explained at the beginning we're seeing like three stats and Boots has the movement speed as well in there so it's easier to like find and combine with movement speed. I think these boosts that I just found are, are down great though. Yeah, when I'm pressing uh, Falcon Strikes right now, I'm going back to full HP. It's a it's a very nice node. Uh, this healing node that I've taken. How far are we from the aerial assault? There's quite a bit more. Right after here, uh, in fact, we're gonna continue into the wilderness. Yeah, I need to, I need to build up the evasion tactics. Basically, that's the big point there. It's gonna give me a little bit more dodge, health, dexterity. I think no health actually, maybe just armor. Granted, I am probably just missing armor with this build right now. Uh, if I can get like an armor base, a new chest piece, perhaps it would be really big for me. Regardless of the stats on it, just just big armor. Same for gloves. It is very outdated. The gloves that we're using, right? The movement speed uh, rings. I was very lucky with. So like they can definitely stay all the way up to like fifty or something. Or you could also replace them with uh, golden rings. Golden rings are giving you. Um, Implicit elemental resistances, so they are very valuable too. 20 stacks of bleed, damn. Not bad. But yeah, my bleed doesn't necessarily hurt that much anymore, because like we're mid-game now, right? It's like with the campaign, mid-campaign. So they're a little bit tankier. So I, now I need to like scale the bleed damage that I have, so I'm more relying on like the bird now, definitely. Let's see what you got for me. Um, there's this amulet. Pretty nice. Poison resistance. <sighs> Melee and throwing attack speed. Doesn't even mean anything to me. Well, that was three idle, idle slots. This is physical damage, and um, I think we're going mini damage here. Yeah, 
chance to ignite, that's probably not gonna happen. Alright, sure. The ruby amulets. Void and minion damage. If it has the right defenses, I think ruby amulets is coming with implicit HP, so 24 HP, necrosic and void resistance. This is something that we're gonna use, yes. That is ridiculous for me. Right now, that's a good find. <clears throat> We're gonna kill this, just stand chances, poison pen. Unfortunate. <laughs> so my resistances. Uh they're looking pretty good. Armor and fizzers, guys. Find armor and fizzers for me. Oh, my minion is destroying now. That's not sc scorpion, right? Let's skip the scorpion for now. Continue the main. Now I'm gonna take one point into this. That point is the one that I was talking about earlier. It's basically um, trying to <laughs> trying to hit more times with my falcon strikes when it manages to like get some kills. And also when it manages to hit rare enemies, I think. Rares and bosses. Majerka. Wait, what level am I? Two more levels, guys.
We'll go down there again, I think, right? More stacks of bleeding fury. I really dislike that my falcon strikes are in cooldown every time I, you know, transfer to a new zone. He's still full HP. Five times. It says this resists necrotic damage. Defensive against me. <laughs> Two projectiles. So 35 is like net spam basically. Another Greaves. Having a hard time picking it up. What is that orb? Did I just miss my bird? Damn. Find some more damage than this. Single target is lacking at its events. End of judgment is not gonna cut it <laughs> Okay, let's see. So I wanna get this guy. Caltrops is interesting, definitely. Uh the duration, physical damage from the netted enemies, and the falcon. Yeah, let's max out the falcon there. Additional strikes. On kills. Falcon damage. Is it a bird? Agile prey. Alright, we're going to be going into there, I think, right now, right? With the Falcon. Crit multi doesn't really mean much, because like I don't really have much crit multi myself, so it's kinda whatever.
not happening. I had to grab an idol from the bank. Um, health idol would be good. Like it, <laughs> it feels like I'm lacking uh, armor. So, sixty-four armor, but it does have a little bit more crafting potential in it. So maybe four and thirty-five with nine. Now, these are not gonna happen. Uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe something like this is pretty interesting. Definitely. Apart from that, bow damage and critical strike chance, perhaps. I am not really sure about that one. So let's try crafting it a little bit here. Lightning damage, bow cold damage, like those are definitely dead for me. But um, we could try to get some like minion here. Minion, melee and bow. Uh, that crits, very nice. And apart from that, I think... Yeah, that's an interesting thing. Um, I'm going to continue bleeding just because. Yeah, this needs to be T4 though. Armenian needs to carry me. My chest is giving me barely some necrotic resistance and shifts, but this could be health and armor. I think I'm just going to max out the armor on that guy, because my armor is very, very low right now. If I replace that, look at my resistances. Elemental resistance, poison resistance, maybe. Um, let's do elemental. And poison. Sure. And over here, it probably needs to be, like, uh, physical damage, to be honest with you. Everything is fizz damage, so... This is pretty low, but it is what it is. Maybe just health. Can still craft on this as well. It's actually upgraded the dexterity, that is insane. Okay, does he have any gloves for me also? Okay. I would like to... Change my gloves. Eight armor. That's not it though. Okay, he doesn't have. No gloves. I am grabbing just pure health here. And I'm gonna grab um, maybe just void resistance. Singular. Damage over time, dodge rating. Okay, nine dodge rating and some void resistance. Sure. Even though the game is lagging and not doing it. Oh, it is it is maybe COF. Yeah, I cannot equip that one, I guess. Greetings. Yeah, Outlander. Next up points are going to be evasion tactic. A little bit more offense. Maybe I'll go straight. <clears throat> of nineteen percent armor uh, mitigation now. Very big. So the net's purpose is going to be basically increasing the Falcon's damage, especially on single targets, okay? We're gonna get like a 40% multiplier uh, for my Falcon. When when there's a net on a target, basically. Which is a pretty hefty multiplier, honestly. I had to grab some healing potions here. Very nice.
Wait, this is straight, right? The interesting thing is, um, with the Falconer, even though like I'm trying to play as fast as possible, I my, my style is usually killing quite a bit, right? But still it ends up like becoming higher level than my, my, my Sentinel, for instance, when I get there. Oh, this paid off big time. Very nice. Wait, what is that? Alright, okay. Mana and cooldown recovery. Block, block, block. He didn't take any damage. Alright. I am not sure what's up with him. That is really weird. Oh, he he takes like when he comes out, maybe? From his, uh, I don't know. Uh, this is a weird fight right now. And he's like aggroed to one of my beetles. I bet that's like bugging him out or something. It's going for like off screen. Yeah, okay, so when he's traveling, he's going into this, like, cocoon form, and when he's attacking, he goes into skeleton. So since there is, like, this off-screen beetle, uh, he stayed in cocoon, and I couldn't hit him at all. That was really awkward, actually. Never happened to me before. I want to check his loot, if there's anything. It's like, I, I feel like I could use, um, maybe, like, a better helm, definitely. Uh, both physical and chill on hits. It's much lower than mine. Um, gloves and, and, and helm, I, I want to say, right? Those two are, like, pretty big for me right now, I think. Maybe, like, health. Tiny bit of resistance on the helm with dexterity. And we can go a very long way. Like chance with shurikens. Go to the center of the device and get ready. I'll get us out of here. I'll hopefully, I will see you soon.
There's a dexterity and glancing node at the start of dancer, blade dancer. Uh, that is something that I really, really want to take, guys. However, we also need to go for basically my my dive bomb as soon as possible, so that like I can stop playing with the puncture. That's also why I'm not putting any points into anything else, but. Falconer since the start, yeah. Can get a single stack of like frailty or cannot be dodged. Um, or we can go into Caltrops. It's actually going to be pretty interesting if I do that. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna put one point over here to like see what's up there. Alright, um so bleed chance into into Damage over time and then Caltrops. I'll, I'll, I'll like see how it feels. It's gonna be interesting. Can we go straight here, I wanna say? Yeah, that was good. I used Falcon Strikes and it completely bugged out by the way, it didn't um, it didn't touch him. One tip about this map is that like you just wanna go north all the time. Like, that's the quickest way out of here. Just north. What's that? Let's see. Keeper's Glass. That's my second Keeper's, right? There's something that I didn't kill. The game is bugging. Oh, it's there. What the hell? Such a blind spot. That's weird. <laughs> well, I'm glad it's working, so... I'll take it. Very soon we have the aerial, but, like, I don't think I'm gonna slot it yet. I think shift is doing work, and at the same time, the reason that I swapped the aerial with my, with my build was because of, like, having the Valor uh, bow. The bow was capable of giving me like plus four to all of my main abilities. Otherwise, I think shift is very safe because like when you're traveling with shifts, uh, it gives you immunity. So for hardcore, it really is cool to play with shift for sure. Uh, but yeah, when, when you start like messing around with like caltrops quite a bit, I think it's uh, it is basically a good idea to go for um, aerial, yeah. It's a double life. Hateful guy. 
Let's just click here. I'm not really sure what we are doing there. Falcon, we take the Falcon damage right there. What else do we have? Shifts? Going towards the cleanse? Cleanse is always beautiful. I think I could hear him. This place is level 41 and I'm level 38, so pretty decent experience here. I <laughs> just leveled up while waiting for a loading screen. <laughs> right, so this is... Um, th there's a side quest over here that I started skipping, in fact. <laughs> Open the gates. Yeah, I think it's this guy basically. I saw I am the heart of the citadel is beyond. There is an exit near the Emperor's throne, giving you a chance. I'm gonna sell this as well. Didn't really like that title. 81 and stun evolutions. That's a lot of legitimately a lot of armor for me. Mono regeneration and 28. Let's see if we can do something decent out of these things, guys. So like all I need is dexterity uh and health, to be honest with you. Hopefully it's going to crit, and it's not critting. Is that still better than mine? Let me see. Not really. It's not really happening. Is there any other? No. What about the gloves? I would say the same for the gloves as well. All I need is just health and dexterity, honestly. Yeah, it is... It is quite unfortunate, but this is the outcome. Sometimes... It do be like that. can be pretty dangerous because of stuns sometimes like you fail at a telegraph like that it doesn't necessarily kill you but perhaps it stuns you into another telegraph and now you're dead so it's better to just play safe for sure in in this level probably not but like in monos when you jump into mono for the first time i think you're pretty susceptible to that because of the level gap Okay, Caltrops, right? Let me see. <laughs> I'm not sure what that was.
The cooldown reduction is helping big time right now. It is pretty crazy. Eh? Yeah. Is that it? There's there's one more? Okay, it's moving, so I'm assuming there's there's one more. Gonna go from the second. Yeah, there was one more. Very nice. Wait, I might be able to, in fact, like, take... Yeah, very soon I'm going to be able to take this node, the intuitive connection, which is making my um, my Falcon Strikes instant casts. Yeah, there's Ariel now, but as I said, like, I'm not going to be taking it for now. Maybe when I, like, end up supporting the Caltrops that I have better than this, I'll take it. Four thousand crits right there. Just backing up. You cannot reach to those crits without the nets, by the way. Like you need the nets on the targets for the multiplier. There's no other way. Penance. Is that even mine? That's a sentinel. <laughs> That's a sentinel red egg. This is probably my biggest hit yet. You should have seen the The trap! Get off my ship, right? I think overall I want to find a little bit more health uh, before we jump into Modos. About like 1.1k or something, like I... I'm probably going to be... Don't crash me. Very nice. Very nice. There was a scary moment right there about crashing, but we're okay. I'm eyes closed clicking that so that, like, my ability is instant cast. So is Dive Bomb going to be that way? By the way, from here onwards, if you are missing um, hold or fire resistance, like, be very careful, yeah? There's some like really weird stuff happening, especially if you fail um, piloting into a telegraph or into a beam of projectiles from those like ice skulls. You definitely just disappear. Hood of life? Give me that. Am I not searching for a hood? Oh, buddy, give me that. Yes. Dex. One time lucky. One time. Alright, T4 decks. 
and T4 life, T3 fizz res, and decent armor as well on it. It's very good. So, like, the only questionable piece that is remaining on me before jumping into monos, I would say it is literally the gloves. It's fine. Man, Elder Scrolls Online is what we have been listening to this entire time, and it has such beautiful soundtrack, it's just insane in my opinion. If I'm not mistaken, Alice Goes Online is actually like the first YouTube video that I've uploaded into my channel. Good times. What just happened there? Four more clicks, and I'm doing one of them right now. Wait, that's that's a big one, right? I need to read that one more time. Increased damage, minion damage, half gain on Falcon hits per dexterity. In fact, that's pretty nice. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna put at the very least like three points into this so that like it's activated for sure. Yes. Let's see what the shop has for me. What do you have to offer, my friend? There is um, there's a pretty bad belt. There's a pretty decent shadow skills chess piece. Let's see if we can make something out of these. So Dex once again. Uh, Physis is there, right? So maybe we can put Vitality and call it a day. There's no Vitality rolls on. Um, maybe minion damage then in that case. You know, gloves, there's no such thing as vitality. This is, in fact, still better than mine, in my opinion. 36% lightning and 42 cold. So, uh, maybe I need to find some elemental resistance. Which doesn't seem like it's possible. But at least there's like some cold here, right? This one is vitality, not bits. It is bits. Cold resistance ranked up, and it blocks it now. I really like yes. 
armor in this game, so we're gonna go there. Can I upgrade the Elemental Vizier? No. T5 is out of my reach right now. Damn. There's no item on me that is upgradable. And also has Elemental Vizier on it. Maybe this guy? Well, one click is one click. 40% lightning resistance. You can just hug the left side over here if you don't care about like either shrines or uh, be careful with the Wengari though. These goat people are crazy bad. And I should run to your death here easily. But yeah, if you hug the left side, you basically skip the one-shot chest and the shrines, but I mean, I, I and the maze, I suppose, but you end up doing both the quests, grabbing the uh, waypoints and then going towards the right destination as well. It's pretty easy. Cat is scary, not gonna lie. There's right. Maybe more bleed chance. I should have probably taken damage there. Falcon damage triple against moving targets. Targets tripled four falcon strikes. I think that's very good for single target. And this is my clans. I guess I jinxed myself pretty hard when it comes to like movement speed shrines. Ever since chapter one, we didn't really find much. I would say we should be strong now with the Falcon. Like, doubt my puncture is doing much anymore. Yeah, it might even be just better to spam net at this point instead of casting puncture into the crowd. Uh, yeah. Well, the timing timing is very good. Timing is extremely good. I only need literally two more clicks to the dive, so it's it has been uh, perfect. Uh, one more click. <clears throat>
I'm gonna check the shrine. Summons a beetle. We should um, drop caltrops at the location as well. That's what I should do, I think. You know, I'm actually considering going for aerial just because of the caltrops. It's actually hilarious. Um, because, like, we're almost complete with the caltrops there. Like, it's... They go hand-to-hand, uh, hand hand, basically. The um, the caltrops from the nets and the aerial caltrops, yeah. Right, this way. I think. Okay, confusion. I'm gonna... This way. But the best defense is net. Like, it's just crazy. It is so strong. some cooldown. Maybe let's do it from the end. Um, am I getting any idle slots right now? I don't really remember. Because I could use tiny lizards of like lightning resistance, was it? Yeah, lightning resistance. If I'm getting idle slots right now, it would be really cool to grab a lightning resistance from the stash. Let me see. Wait, that's not the stash. Where's the stash? Okay. <laughs> um, there's a golden one over there. Very nice. And I, I can't just fit everything, it seems like, huh? How are we gonna do this? <laughs> this Tetris is uh, getting out of hand right now. Alright. Boom! For the ones that did not believe in me, I pulled it off. Yes. Well, there was two more. I could have just done that too, I guess. <laughs> okay. This is what I mean, though. If you play it really fast, um, at this point, like around this level, you're already in monos. I'm like almost level 44 right now, and I, I still have much to do. When you press M, right, you press Shift, and then we still have like two more unlocks remaining uh, for the un idols. And I have two more unlocks for the passives.
Is this it, guys? Is this it? Give me the good news, please. Uh, is that it? No, I just didn't click. It is. Dive bomb. Let's despec from this. Let's have some fun. I'm going to despec from this guy as well. Can you guys just let me be, please? All right. So we are going for aerial assault and we are going for dive bomb, right? This one is the bomb. This one is the aerial assault. And we're going to... On the aerial, I need to go for the cat... Uh, cat Wait, how, how does it feel right now? It's not too bad. Caltrops. Uh, aerial... Prowess is interesting, yeah. Additional Caltrops halfway through. With slow chance, bleed chance. We could just, like, put... Um... One point here and one point there, honestly. It's not too bad. Like, the aerial prowess is absolutely insane as well. And, yeah, the terror wings. Okay, all right, all right. Uh, slow chance and caltrops damage. Okay, these spec. Do here. All right, this is it. Now, what is dive bomb? Good question. Ba -bum -bum -bum. You could do cooldown and damage. Hmm. You need one more point over there, I would say, to be able to get the uh, talent blades. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna take Exanguinating Strike and then we're gonna go for like damage afterwards from that point. Right, let's do this. <laughs> Mala died. I played it so bad, Cola. You have no idea. Unfortunately, <laughs> I'm pretty embarrassed, but it's what it is, right? It happens. I've died to yet again, Lagon. <laughs> it's it's alright. Not too bad. Gold resistance is packed. There it is. This was a fast kill. For sure. To the firewood. I got one of my... Te teeth pulled out, and you're almost 100 characters died. Don't know what day is worst. <laughs> yeah, tooth. Um. Well, wishing you a very swift recovery. Cola. I did delay in the. Um Dive is actually pretty interesting. It's been a while that I didn't play it with like few points in it like this. You definitely feel the delay. Oh, the sounds. Pimped out of on pain meds. I see. You're alive. Is it um, swollen? Like your your mouth or like one side maybe? Like this? It was quite swollen for me when I had that. When I had one of my tooth removed.
You guys see this, right? Like, the character just came online. Honestly, it is just ridiculous. I don't really know where I am spending my points, though. We could always get threshold, I suppose. It would be nice. One side is like twice the side, yeah. Yeah, speedy recovery is you, man. All that's left is locating the lance. It's not gonna be enough. <laughs> Alright, let's wait for it. So, if I'm not mistaken, there's one quest remaining, unless, like, I forgot something. We need to, like, turn back and do this, like, side area that's building up the Temple Sanctum, I think. Uh, afterwards, we can jump into Monos. Uh, I'm on a loop. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Apparently, I'm missing one passive, so that was a mistake. The Wraith of Dunes? No. No way. You got this really fast. It's not necessarily the movement speed that I was talking about. I was missing a little bit of DPS up until that point, but like the second everything like fell in line when it comes to abilities. Right now we're doing much better. Um cooldown reduction is going to be pretty big too. So what did I want to do here? Uh these nodes, right? You kind of need two points into this for sure. And over here, we want to drop the caltrops at the target location as well. Here we go. Yeah, so my die bomb is going to feel a little bit better, but the cooldown is going to be um, big now. So maybe it is the quest that I said, like, I'm going to skip it here. Uh, maybe it is that quest that, like, was giving me a passive point. And, um, you know, I shouldn't have skipped it, perhaps? I'm not really sure. It's probably that one. I'll look into it. Granted, I've not played Manifest Armor yet. So <laughs> the Forge God Champion. If I could get myself like pretty good items from Oribus, uh, I could see myself playing Avoid Knights, but Forge God is not happening anytime soon. I think I'm supposed to go left, in fact. Probably not this patch, actually. Maybe, like, next cycle I might uh, attempt a Forge Guide. I'm sure they are going to be receiving some buffs. I, I think so, at least. It's probably the most underrepresented, um, if I have to guess, when it comes to Sentinel. Outcast at throwing speed. Let's take this waypoint. Why not? So, uh, I need to go back and grab my Passo. An idle unlocks. But then we need to like find one more quest to do. Which is like last passive. <laughs> Let's see. It's this one maybe. 
<laughs> also, I think Void Knight could be Bitface Lift 2. Not as much like FG, of course. Yeah, I think so too. People were talking about like it's damage not necessarily up there compared to stuff like this, but I think it's also the fact that like stuff like this is a little bit, you know, far ahead. There's that too, in my opinion. You know, at least a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I kind of need to max out the Outlander's Tenacity at some point, guys. But maybe we do two points into needle-like precision for now. It's very, very good. I, I actually think we can probably going to be making it six points. Yeah. Finesse them is extremely big as well. We could take one cooldown reduction, it's very big, so. Haste for the stacks. Alright, so where is that quest? Wraith Dunes. That I have skipped. The Hidden Gems. Search Wraith Dunes for the sign of the Lost Nagasa Gems. That's not it, trust me. Oh, buddy, I should have done that quest. <laughs> uh... Passive point rewards. Wonder if I would be able to understand. Wait. Yeah, at least my idols are unlocked. Wonder if I would be able to understand if I see it. I saw it. Okay, there we go. Very nice. I was thinking of trying out uh, the one punch paladin judgment thing for my first paladin. Are you going to be doing, like, um, mana stacking then? You kind of have to, right? Since, like, you have one shot. Unless you want to, like, spam it, then it's not one shot. Yeah, you need to, like, mana stack, right? True. Look into... Uh, I don't know if it would be worth it, but I uh, Forge Guard has this, like, passive, like, halfway that is, like, giving you multiplier for the amount of, like, mana that you end up spending as well. So it might, it might be, like, an interesting synergy. I've been thinking about that. It definitely sacrifices out of survival. But if you're playing on softcore, it might actually be really, really fun to do. Because, like, I wouldn't be able to spend all those points into Forge Guide, unfortunately. Like, I wouldn't be. Even if I go for, like, the one-shot build, I would put, like, those points into, you know, some survival around the Paladin, uh, which there are many of. But on softcore, I might be able to sacrifice that. There is something like that on this character as well. Uh, the fact that like I'm going for a lot of HP. And uh, if it was on softcore, I would go for crit avoidance on those suffix slots as well. Because crit avoidance is crit multiplier for my pets. It's pretty interesting though. The way that like things are balanced. It really, really is. It's very cool in my opinion. Over there, for instance, I haven't used a single ability, except net. I just spammed the net. Through the entire thing. And my falcon just finished them off. Alright, so apparently this guy is in fact giving you a passive, and that's going to be it. So we can now go to end of time. For some monolith action, in fact. So at this point, if you have an item that is like incredibly outdated um, and you're also lacking idols, like I would suggest you to farm a little bit of like shrines or something to find your idols. And at the same time, there's a gambler over here. The gambler is definitely worth replacing those like very outdated items with at least good bases and since like you can craft on them for sure. I think it would be a good idea to do that, yeah. So, um... 
let's find lightning resistance, it is a bit of poison resistance, and it's a bit of void resistance. So one of each, okay? If I can manage that. So lightning right there. Uh void resistance 310. Uh 114. Sure. And then what did I say? Poison, right? Um there it is. Okay. Let's grab one more elemental res if there's anything. There is some board retention, something stupid. Why not? This looks definitely playable to me though. Oh, yes. Alright, apparently I don't really need to do that. <laughs> Building between soft and hardcore is still completely different challenges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you can you can, for the most part, like, kill stuff before they have the chance to touch you. Even some bosses, uh, 100%. By playing around cooldowns. So, like, and dying every now and then in softcore, definitely you don't lose anything. If I'm not mistaken, in this game in softcore, death doesn't necessarily even, like, give you experience penalty. So, going as offensive as possible, as long as, like, you're not dying constantly... I think it's a very, very good choice, for sure. This is arguably the last loading screen that we need to go through, because we are into monoliths now. Can we please go through this game? Would be nice. <clears throat> There we are. I think I want a little bit of defense. Um, but at the same time, I want to gain, uh, get this, the crit avoidance, to finesse them. So I'll continue for the finesse them. I'm going to put some more points into Needle. Let's see how the character is playing uh, within the mono versus level 58. It was like outcast coats, okay, but like good luck wearing it, I suppose, right? Because like it's gonna require it at the very least. Hey, maybe not. Ugh, it's not that great though. I thought it was going to be something high level. It's like we're against level 58, so. Maybe one more damage. <laughs> okay, die bomb is gaining the stacks of aerial now, so jumping into them kind of makes more sense.
I didn't change my relic ever since the beginning, by the way. That's kind of interesting, too. Frenzy and Haste. You'll be spending 20 points on the second half of the th tree uh, for armor and crit avoidance alone. Paladin actually just have too many good nodes. Yeah, it does. As I said before, like it's it, it feels like you're getting something substantial every next level, you know what I mean? So like you're you're looking forward to leveling up as a paladin. It's a very interesting uh, feeling actually. Let's check what that is. P1. We could stay here a little bit because, like, the Bloodbirds are actually pretty good uh, when it comes to experience. And he hasn't been too bad at either. Don't really care about stability or, like, fast build to the boss right now. I just want level 50, so. If you feel like they're big units and the place is easy to play, there's, you know, no reason not to stay a little bit and gain some experience for sure We have two more points. Maybe like one, two, even more damage on the dive. Uh, I should probably take this guy and one into that too. The haste duration is extremely big there, by the way. What was I doing here? More falcon damage probably. Caltrops has a chance to crit now. Yeah, I should probably take the slow from the Caltrops as well, guys. This is uh, level 47, right? Okay. So there's this glancing node over here as well, which is pretty big, by the way. <laughs> My FG is going to be a bit jealous, huh? Did you play anything else? I got stuck, by the way, guys. Need to wait here a little bit. There we go. Sometimes the movement abilities in this game can get you stuck. Uh, if you're playing hardcore, the easiest way out is usually teleporting out. So just press T, spam click on it, and hope that it's gonna work. Like if you're right about to die, otherwise you need to like basically wait for the cooldown of your traversal again. I couldn't really figure out any other way to like get out of being stuck. This bug has been unfortunately here for some time now um, in this game. It's not something new with like 1.0. I've lost multiple rogues to just getting stuck at like several bosses. Uh, but, you know, hoping perhaps at one point it's going to be fixed. It's 48 and a half. All resistances and exalted items. Sure. I'll put you on the second monitor and get a couple of games in myself. Thanks for lurking. A nice evening yourself, Golem.
Oh yeah, I actually need to loot these because <laughs> like my, my my loot filter right now is incredibly incredibly strict. Um it is it is really stupid uh, to play with this strict loot filter uh, when when you jump into mono. So this is also why I'm not going to be sharing this loot filter with you guys um, in this video. Like hopefully you're going to be playing with like a better loot filter where it's a searching for, you know, upgrades, especially when you jump into mono. So I don't necessarily know how long that took. Actually, if I have to get this, it's about like three hours, right? Maybe a little bit longer. I, I I legitimately have no idea. I didn't really like check the time when I started leveling this rogue. Um, but here we are, level 50. So that's going to be it, YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to see you on the next video. Hope you found this useful.